Um, and the furlough was, the, um, was a way for us to close the gap in terms of the distance between our an anticipated revenues and expenditures. Um, a furlough, um, there are benefits actually to the university and to the employees for furloughs. Um, and of course, the downside is that everybody that is furloughed for whatever days they're furloughed, they're not receiving any income on that day. Um, so for some of our uh, staff, uh, they may be only taking two days of furlough over the next year, uh, fiscal year, or they may be taking a maximum, depending on their salary level, 20 days of furlough. And those 20 days of furlough are 20 days where they're not getting paid. Now, that will be prorated over the um, 24 pay periods we have. Uh, so what it will mean is, is that every paycheck will just be reduced by uh, a little bit of money. The advantage is that, number one, they keep their job. And number two, uh, their benefits continue even during the days that they're not being paid. So they maintain their benefits. Uh, of course, the main one there is uh, health insurance and retirement. So those benefits are maintained. But we, we manage to ensure that they keep their job, uh, whereas a reduction in force, commonly referred to as layoffs, um, uh, that's not the case at all. Um, they're actually, they lose their job and move on. 